Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kristen. And Quentin. From Studio 913. So we were working through the weekend this weekend, and we came across an article on TechCrunch um, about how Google is now introducing six-second previews um, on their search results for videos. So this is going to be huge in our world. Um, and if you're doing video out there, which if you're not doing video already, you should be. You need to be. Absolutely. Um, what was that um, study we were reading about? It was a Cisco study? Yeah, so we were uh, reading a study on Cisco. And it says that 83% uh, of all content searched on the on the web by 2021 is going to be video. So it's going to be really important for you guys, for everybody really, to have video content um, up up on the interwebs. Right, and so I think that this new six second preview that Google's going to be doing in their search results is gonna be huge because if you're not using B-roll in your video or you're not demonstrating something in your video or you're not making it visually appealing, so maybe there's nothing wrong with recording video from your cell phone. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. In fact, the more video content you can produce, the better right now. But it's gonna be even more important for that video content to be um, visually appealing because Google's algorithm is going to choose which six seconds of video to um, display in their preview. So you can't choose that. It's not like your thumbnail anymore um, if you're using YouTube. It's gonna be huge that the rest of your video content is visually appealing because Google is going to be scrubbing your video content um, for the best six seconds to dis display somebody. So that's your six seconds to grab somebody's attention to get them to click on your search result. So who like, are some of the good people that you see on YouTube right now um, doing really good stuff that this is only gonna help? Like uh, Gary V is doing some really good stuff right now with his daily vlogs. Um, Casey Nastat's doing some really good stuff. Um, who are some people that you think is gonna be hurt by it? One of the people I think that might struggle with this is Joe Rogan. Um, there's a lot of uh, standing around talking, but not a lot of visually appealing content. Mm -hmm. Nothing that's really gonna say, if I'm searching for a subject he's talking about, um, that it's gonna catch your attention and bring you in to watch the rest of the video. So I think it's gonna be important for somebody like him mm -hmm. um, and maybe the Hodge brothers to um, definitely increase their use of b-roll and get creative with the way that they're shooting things if they want to keep bringing people in naturally through search engines yeah because remember google's uh their algorithm you you're not never going to know where that six seconds is it's just going to pick six seconds of the video so it's just us sta standing and talking in front of the camera um it's just going to pick that versus somebody that has is talking about a certain subject and has video of them doing it or video of whatever it's going to um grab their attention Right, so I think another great example of somebody who's gonna really benefit from this would be somebody in our realm, Peter McKinnon. He does a lot of um, tutorials on video editing, um, you know, how to capture video, and so all of his stuff is really awesome because it's visually appealing. So I think that any one of his YouTube videos are really going to be, um, you know, displaying much higher and, and in bringing in him uh, more views on his yep. YouTube channel with this new um, search algorithm that Google is coming out with. So I would say um, right now it's only available on mobile, which I think that brings up another great point. I mean, right. mobile is the future. If you're not preparing mm -hmm. all of your content for mobile consumption, you are seriously gonna be left in the dark. So it's yeah. really important that yeah. you step up your production value. Maybe at this point it's time to bring in a production company um, you know, to do all of your editing for you, to help you out with this because um, you can't be an expert in everything and that's why you have yeah. people like us here to help you um, give you the content and the information that you need so that you can be successful with your campaign. Um, but I, I do think that it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out over the next yeah. year or two. Mm -hmm. I think now's a great time for anybody that is currently shooting their own footage, um, yeah. whether it is on your cell phone or on a GoPro or you have a DSLR, mm -hmm. um, that now is the time that you probably want to invest in having some a professional edit your videos. Um, because an editor, an experienced editor, a professional editor um, will know how to make your video more visually compelling um, to the end user. And I think that's really only going to help you on Google's search results, yeah. which is hugely important. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions about how to shoot better cell phone video, um, how to edit, what editing software to use, um, leave us a comment below. Um, and we'll jump on that and uh, let you guys know what's up. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you want to want us to do this again.